I've opened up all the vaults, caches, skin boxes, and everything that we got from the end of last episode, and it's resulted in something crazy. Let's get into spending what we've got today and upgrading everything here on Minecraft Prisons. Yes, hello everybody, welcome back into a brand new episode of Minecraft Prisons. Today, of course, we're back here on Akuma MC, back for another episode of this brand new season, guys. Episode number five, I think now. Day number five of the brand new season, guys. I hope that you have been enjoying this season. If you've been playing, let me know what your progress is looking like down in the comment section, because I'm genuinely intrigued to know where you guys are at in comparison to like where I'm at. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's just interesting. Some of you guys are absolutely hardcore grinders and I don't know, maybe some of you play even more casually than I do. But let me know down in the comment section, guys. Today, we are going to be spending a whole ton of money, tokens, all that good stuff on some very, very nice things. Now, I've sold a couple of things since last episode. I've opened up all the caches, all the relics. Or oh, wait, no, relic cache is the same thing. I don't even know what they're called anymore. Basically, I've opened a whole bunch of things. You guys can see we've got a whole bunch of these skin fragments, which we need to apply today, which could result in upgrading our very very, very overpowered skin that we have been using on our pickaxe, which is, of course, the Shadow Clone skin. So, yes, we're going to get into that today and hopefully a bunch of other things in this episode. But for today's giveaway, we're going to do... Uh, we'll, let, let's do one of these deluxe crate bundles. So, I believe that includes the Start of the World crate and the brand new, very, very overpowered crate that we actually opened a couple of last episode and that did actually get ourselves our, uh, our own $20 coupon, which was super cool. So, I'm going to give one of those away to you guys. Requirements are the same as always. Like this video, comment your username, subscribe to the channel and then join the giveaways only discord and press the enter button in there please make sure you do complete all the requirements to be eligible to win the giveaway otherwise you will be re-rolled if you're picked in the discord and you've not liked the video subscribed and all that good stuff commented your username then unfortunately you will get the re-roll so yes make sure you guys have done that but yes guys we do have 4q to spend today which is an absolutely massive amount of tokens i think it's actually the most we've had this entire season so we've got uh yeah we've got plenty to spend plenty to do and uh it's just hopefully hopefully we're gonna get to max out a whole bunch of enchants today Today. Now, before we do that, whilst we're mining, we might as well make benefit of or make use of all of the different skins that we have available to apply. So let's go ahead and drag and drop all of these all onto our pickaxe and see how many level ups we can get here. Um, it looks like we go all the way to max level on the eye skin now. That is maxed out. We even had some to spare. Shadow clone skin. We got 19 of them. Let's apply them all. What level does this get us to? Level two. There we go. And I think it gets us 13 notches into level three as well. I'm glad that we finally got level two unlocked to that one. Mead's Wrath. That is now up and unlocked so uh, that's an exciting one we didn't actually have that one unlocked before let's go lumberjack i'm guessing yeah level four nearly maxed out onto level five actually not too far off of that that's pretty cool we'll take that mind splitter as well all the way past level two night fury this should get me oh i think we're actually on our way to level two on that one and then reaper final one to apply that will get us up to level three on that one so that's cool that we're only five episodes in we've already maxed out one of our uh one of our pickaxe skins here obviously we've been working mainly on the shadow clone skin now i believe i've just been getting these from like the i don't even know what they're called anymore those like box things the mystery vaults i think they are i pretty much got a bunch of those just straight out the vaults and also a lot of like mythical skin boxes to be able to get that many shadow clone uh, skin fragments so that's exciting i am excited to see what our proc looks like at a level two of of shadow clone because obviously we've only had level one this entire season and i think when that skin levels up it essentially just adds more player miners eat like per level so i'm pretty sure before we had like four player miners spawn in whenever it procs so we'll have to see exactly what we get uh when this procs now so yes guys 4q to spend in the token balance today obviously we're still continually grinding up those gems we worked massively on our enchants to grind up those gems last episode so if you missed all the adjustments we made definitely go check that video out because yeah, we, we as, as you can probably see from our gem income, it pretty much now flies up. Now, it could be faster than it is. I'm absolutely not denying that, but we did make a significant adjustment. So let's take a look at what we can do. I'm thinking that we're going to be able to max out Jackhammer because we put a nice dent in that last episode. Yes, it's going to cost me 1.25Q to max that out. So I'm going to do that. We need to get that maxed out. Finally, 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 we don't have to work on Jackhammer anymore, which means that our rank up should be as efficient as they've ever been now. Now, I don't really need XP Finder at this point, but we may as well get it maxed. We're right on the verge of maxing it. So there we go. That's that done. Next up in the list would be Prestige Finder. Now, obviously, this is one of the most expensive enchants here on the server, and it does affect our gems massively. So I'm going to leave that for this second because what I want to do is I want to be able to spend my tokens on some things that we could actually max out and like would massively help me. That's kind of what I'm what I'm thinking right now. So with all that being in mind, let's go ahead and do we max out? Yeah, treasure finding. Let's max out treasure finding. Considering my tokens have become massively from like 
all of keys and stuff like that it, it makes sense to max that out let's get that done pretty much on a mission just to like max as many enchants as we possibly can right now whilst still get like gathering ones that are useful so let's add some more into our prestige finder let's get it up to 1.5k here why not get it just you know get it in a nice place we'll add two more levels of prestige merchant as well just for good measure since you know that just kind of scales with everything else and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to chuck the rest into let's chuck it into napalm strike because we already have a little bit of cluster bomb in there um i'm not sure what it increases maybe the proc chance i don't know but let's go ahead and chuck a little bit into Nap napalm strike so that we've got in chance that we're currently working on all across the board so with those adjustments and those additions i now expect to be making even more gems than we were before we started today which is perfect because you know our next gem enchant that we're working on would actually be a uh, shard collector which is gang related which is obviously what i wanted to talk about as well in today's episode because i need Need to get recruitment going for my gang so recruitment for the gang is going to be very simple if you want to join me and you want to join in the gang and you want to become one of the top gangs this season then i'm going to need you to do one thing for me okay down in the description there's going to be a link to a form you're going to fill out the form use as truthful answers as you possibly can and i'm going to hand pick some of those people that have filled out that form to join a gang with me i don't know what the exact requirements are going to be at this point but there will probably be a rank requirement and a minimum in enchant level of uh you know of of something in shard collector so that you can actually contribute towards the gang so if you guys are you know if, if if you're looking to get in the gang please make sure you've grinded up to at least that and uh yeah you guys will be able to see on the form exactly what the requirements are but in the next week or i'm gonna say the next like three days i'm gonna have a fully formed gang and i want uh I, yeah I, I want you guys to be involved and i want to actually be properly competitive as well so yes that'll be linked down in the description go find that it's down there somewhere and uh, I look forward to forming a gang with a bunch of you guys and hopefully becoming one of the best on the server. But it would be rude of me, of course, if I didn't go ahead and unlock Shark Collector and start, you know, grinding towards the gang myself. So that's exactly kind of what we're saving to do right now. As soon as I get that 1.5 million gems, I'm going to be investing it straight into that Shark Collector right there so that we can at least get one level so that, you know, we can actually start getting them in because they're not actually the easiest things in the world to get. I just remember that in like one of my last episodes, we did actually get this V kit shard scavenger and i said i was gonna look for a buyer off camera um however i didn't i didn't even do that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna see if i can like find myself a buyer on camera here and uh, maybe we can get some additional tokens to spend today all right so i'm selling it right here it's 2.6 q now it's actually worth more than this but um i don't know people just either don't have the tokens or don't even want the kit right now so i'm just taking what i can um you know and and hopefully it's gonna help me out uh they definitely got a steal right there but that's okay that's okay i'm not too worried about it it's more than uh, i would have got with it sat in my vault so with that money it, what am i gonna do with it this is this is the question now i have just unlocked zeus which could be a uh which could be a potential one for me to go for here in fact what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give it 25 levels of zeus get it halfway complete uh, there we go. Um, and then we can see what else we've got here. You know what? I'm just going to load up Prestige Finder with another 500 because uh, I think, I don't know, it's just, it's just going to benefit me. Like, I know it's going to benefit me. It's something which I don't have to worry about. Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? We know it's worth it. And then I'll chuck the rest into Cluster Bomb. So there we go. Again, now prestiging at the fastest rate ever. Thanks for selling that V kit. Uh, definitely could have got more for it, but you know what? It's okay. I'm not too worried about it. You guys are probably going to absolutely mug me down in the comment section, but that's okay. Oh, Shadow Clone just activated. How many we got? One two three four five six maybe six maybe more to be honest that is actually pretty cool right there that means that our rank should start flying up because those guys are going to get some pretty insane jackhammer procs right here uh which will help massively yeah that's crazy how many more we get i guess i guess it gave me an extra two so maybe it's an extra two per level which means when we get that thing maxed out to level five we're gonna have a freaking incredible amounts of player miners in my mind i'll absolutely take it but yeah they should uh i don't know how long they really stay but hopefully they can stay for a little bit here are they already gone no i think i think they're still down there somewhere um hopefully they can help me get here to uh to 350 that'll be nice but if not, we have eventually, or not eventually, we have uh, gone ahead and unlocked this first level of shard collector. We will now start collecting shards for the gang, which we're going to call, uh, let's see, is Pepsi taken? 
Let's take a look. No, it is not. So we're going to take Pepsi because that's what we've been for a couple of seasons now. So yes, uh, that recruitment will be down in that comment section to join Pepsi, which is our official gang of uh, of this season of prisons. We have, in fact, collected our first shard of the season. That is going in a PV. I'm going to go and save that. I want to cherish that till the end of the season because that's a pretty cool uh, little thing. But yeah, that is, uh, that's our first one. As you guys can see, they don't really come in that quickly. Like, it took me a little while to get that. But we are about to hit rank 350, and that's going to be my goal for the day. And there it is, rank 350, done. Let's uh, claim our milestones. Why not? May as well get some extra things to open, some extra tokens to use, all that good stuff. Let's take that. There we go. And yeah, guys, that is going to be where I'm going to go ahead and end off today's episode. That's the work which I wanted to do today. Huge upgrades, especially in the gems department. I'm glad that we managed to grind out a whole bunch of those. Obviously, spent a whole bunch of tokens today. Finally got maxed out on a couple of enchants as well. Guys, that is going to be it for me today. If you have enjoyed, please make sure you do smash that like button. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that. That is going to be it for me, like I said. And I'll see you all in the next episode of OP Prisons here on Akuma MC.